Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to start with the question number 35 until up to 50. Okay, let's start with the question number 35. If the two cosine uh, 4x minus 1 plus 2, uh, which of the following has the same frequency? Frequency. Okay, so we are given a function here. How can you find the frequency of the cosine function? Um, if there is a sine or cosine bx plus c, the frequency is, in other words, period is the same thing, right? It is equal to 2 pi over absolute value of b, right? What about tangent? When there is a tangent, say uh, a tangent bx plus c, then the frequency is equal to pi over absolute value of b. Okay, I guess um, I assume everybody knows this. Then uh, let's look at our answer choices. I mean like the question first. Okay, so the frequency for, the, for this function is 2 pi over 4, right? In place of b it is 4. So it is 1 over 2 pi. Let's look at the answer choices one by one. The tangent 2x minus 1. Okay, the frequency for a tangent value is pi over absolute value of b. b is in this case 2, therefore it is pi over 2. We just got the answer right away, right? So a is the answer. Why not b the answer? Because the cosine 2x, the frequency for the cosine or sine value is 2 pi over b. So 2 pi over 2 is equal to pi, right? It is not the same as pi over 2. Therefore b is not the answer accordingly. Other things cannot be the answer as well. Okay, 36. There's a cylinder. If its radius has de decreased by 50% and the height is increased by 60% compared to its initial state, the volume of the cylinder is... Okay, so the volume of a cylinder was pi r square h, right? But we are looking for the new volume, right? Volume of new cylinder is pi times the radius has decreased by 50%. So 0.5 r square times the uh, height has increased by 60%. So it's 1.6 h, right? Put this in your calculator, you will get it is equal to 0 0.4 pi r h. So compared to this value, uh, it has decreased by 60%, right? It has decreased by 60%. So among our answer choices, D is the correct answer. Let's move on to number 37. 37 says, um, if the figure below represents y is equal to f and x function, which of the following represents gx? Ne uh, negative f x minus 2. Okay, so it is asking the transformation of the function When original function is f and x function, and we're given a look, uh, we're given a function new function, looking like this. What does this mean? This means a translation. Two units to the left or the right. Two units to the right. There's two units to the right. What about this? This signal means symmetric. Reflection, symmetric, reflection, same thing. Reflection to the x-axis, right? X-axis. Okay, so the original function was um, up there looking like this, right? Move two units to the right, two units to the right, and then reflect it, reflect this graph to the x-axis, then the new graph will be one something looking like this, right? So among our answer choices, the only one which looks like this figure is B, right? Therefore, B is our correct answer. Number 38. Number 38 says, in the figure below, theta is, so we are looking for the value of theta. But can we uh, find the theta right away? No, we cannot find the theta right away. So what should we 